So today I'm going to show you how to pick out a coconut, crack open a coconut, we're going to drain it, and then we're going to press it through our Green Star machine and make coconut cream. And once we have our finished product, besides it being so nutritious and delicious, you can brush your teeth with coconut cream. You can make shampoos and soaps. They've been using the oil in coconuts for years as cleansing agents. And you could actually give this to your pets. You can put a tablespoon of coconut cream in their water every day. It's very nutritious for them as well. You can polish your furniture with coconut cream. You can use this externally for a lotion, internally this is so cleansing so this is a great product and I'm gonna show you all the different uses you can use so let's get started and what we're gonna do first is you wanna shake your coconut in the store and make sure you, you can hear there's a good amount of water in there and then you wanna look look at it good and make sure there's no cracks and there's no mold and then there's three eyes on the coconut one's always a little bit you wanna just test it One's always a little bit softer, and you're gonna, we're going to poke that with our oyster shucker. You can pick these up at any local seafood restaurant. This is the best tool I've found to poke your coconut and also to shuck out the meat. So what we want to do is go ahead and place it on your cutting board. and just I've got my sweet spot here, and just go in there and just turn. And you want to just give it a good turn. And so you have enough of an opening for the liquid to drain out. So what you also want to do before you drain your coconut is test the water to make sure that it's a good coconut. Mmm, that's a good one. Alright, now we're going to drain our water into our glass. And we're going to go ahead and save our coconut water. It has so many health benefits as well. And we're going to add it to our smoothies or you can just drink it. Now, there's times when I'm not going to add it to a smoothie and I want to strain out the little bit of meat that comes out with it. You can just put a little strainer in your glass. Something like this would work. And you can go ahead and just strain your water if you want. Your coconut water. Now, if you want to make coconut milk, you can actually take this water and the meat and blend it into a milk. But we're going to save our water and we're just going to take the meat and make the coconut cream out of it. So what we want to do next is hold, hold the coconut in your hand. And we're going to go right around the center here with our hammer. You want it to be kind of loose in your hand. And just cut, start cracking and just turn. Give it a good crack. It already started to crack there in the middle and just turn it in your hand and just loosely, there we go, just crack along the way. Now, you can go and purchase a good fur or a good pair of gloves if you want to help with your coconut. Oh, so that's it. So this is our coconut meat on the inside that we're going to shuck out. And I have found that I like to score the meat. So you take your shucker and you want to just score your coconut and you want to just like this, like a little triangle. And there's going to be, you want to just go kind of in here, dig in, and just it'll just snap out on its own. So this is our coconut meat. And there's a little bit of brown on there, and that's okay. Some people like to peel this off. It's perfectly fine to leave that on there. The